Hello, my lovelies. I am so excited to be here today for Go Pure on the Go Pure page. My name is Stephanie Classy, and I'm a clinical esthetician. And today we are going to be talking about skincare 101 and how to get an amazing glow every single day. When you hop on, say hi. Um, drop some hearts. We are going to be doing some amazing giveaways today. So like, share, comment, um, tag your friends in the video, drop any questions that you have. And I'm really excited to share my experience and expertise as a clinical esthetician. So I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, I'm going to give you all a minute to hop on. I'm going to see if I can share this because I always get scared to share these when I go live because I don't want to mess anything up. Hi, everyone. I see you all hopping on. Yay. I'm so excited to do this. I'm so excited that GoPure has invited me to do this because educating around skin and skincare is something that I'm so passionate about. I love it so much because I really want every single one of you to feel confident and empowered to take the absolute best care of your skin, to meet your skin goals, and to go from being intimidated by all of the products out there um, to feeling really excited and empowered to do your routine and know what you are doing. Yay, I see Catherine's on, Peggy's on, Jamie's on, Angela's on. Yay, I'm so excited about this. So again, my name is Stephanie Classy. I'm a clinical esthetician. I've actually been in the beauty industry for 20 years and I've been a licensed clinical esthetician for 10 of those years. And I turned 40 this year. I'm a mom of three boys and I'm busy. I'm a working makeup artist and beauty editor as well. Thank you for my glasses compliment, Peggy. Um, they're probably gonna be coming on and off because I like being able to see, but we're gonna maybe be playing in some stuff as well. Um, and I have had an interesting journey with my skin too, because I mean, yes, even when you're a pro, you're still a human in the real world and skin is constantly changing. And I got so excited about specializing and teaching, um, people how to really be so consistent with their home care routine because 80% of the condition and quality of your skin is what you do at home. Yes, there's lots of great treatments out there. There's all sorts of great stuff, but what we do at home every single day really matters and it matters so much. Hi, Kim. Hi, Diane. Yay, I'm so excited so many of you are on. Make sure you're sharing. When we get to 50 shares, they're going to be dropping giveaway winners in the comments and you get to pick three items that you'd like. So make sure you share and you tag your friends and you like and you comment because all of those things go peers watching you all and they are going to be picking winners. <laughs> So let's chat about why GoPure is so amazing as well, because I have to tell you, I'm very, very choosy with who I work with, who I educate for, and what I put on my skin, because like I said, I'm a real person, and I want those results. I want the glow. Okay, drop some hearts if you love a good glow. I love a glow. Um, it makes me feel... Um, youthful, and it makes me feel empowered, and it makes my skin look healthy and feel healthy because of that glow is a reflection of healthy, hydrated, nourished skin. And I'm really choosy with who I work with. And I told her, I said, you know, I'm going to try all of these products. I'm going to dig in and I'm not going to do anything until I really, I have to really get behind this. I really have to believe in these products. And these are clean clinical products. I mean, really clean. They utilize all of these amazing botanicals made in the USA globally sourced. You don't have cheap fillers. You don't have parabens. I'm huge on paraben free. Um, you don't have synthetic fragrances or dyes or um, uh, pesticides. Sorry. <laughs> and all of those things that we don't want to be putting on our skin. Our skin is the largest organ and it's actually responsible for a lot of functions. It's responsible. It does a lot for us. And so we got to take care of it. So it's got to take care of us. Oh, Kelly Ann is on. Hooray. The party's getting started for sure. So keep liking, keep sharing. And I'm going to get into more about some, all the specifics of a lot of the products 
because what I, the way I'm going to teach this skincare 101 session, so you guys are in class, skin class with Stephanie Classy. Some of you have already um, been on some of the lives or sessions that I've done. Again, I'm so passionate about teaching around skin and skincare so you all can feel empowered to just really love your skin um, as it is and your skincare routine and all of that. So let's get going. I'm going to go through really like your, our skincare routine. We're going to talk about some differences day and night. We're going to talk about some of the differences in some of the products. I do have some notes off to the side because if anyone knows me, or I'm, you're going to get to know me with this, but I can really go off on a tangent and get distracted. So I really want to make sure I hit some of the basics. So forgive me if I look off to the side a little bit. I just really want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, in the group, there is also an amazing GoPeer group. I asked um, before if you had specific questions. I'm really going to try and cover those. And as always, Feel free to follow my page, Stephanie Classy Makeup Artistry. I do a lot of great stuff over there and I get into details over there too. So make sure you're in that Go Pure group. Make sure you're following my page. Like, share, comment because they are going to be picking winners and we love giveaways. So that's amazing. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a little exercise here. So I want you all to think about your skincare cabinet. If we can visualize, like think about your skincare cabinet and all of your products. And I mean, like I said, I'm a beauty editor and a makeup artist and esthetician, so I have a lot of skincare products. Now, how does that make you feel when you think about all the stuff you have? Do you feel um, confident in knowing how to use what you have? Do you feel confident that your skincare routine is going to help you achieve those goals? Now, imagine every day when you wake up, you are so excited to wash your face and to put on your products, and you know what they're going to do, and you know it's just hydrating and healing and nourishing your skin. Now imagine every day at night, you just cannot wait to dig into that skincare routine because you love it so much and you love how it makes your skin feel and you absolutely know that you're on a journey and you're working towards those amazing results. Hope asked a great question and I'm totally going to tackle that. She Hope asked how long between each product um, so your skin can soak up everything. We're going to hopefully be tackling all that as we go through the process. So think about it. Are you confident? Are you empowered? And are you ready to get going? Let's do this because we're going to cover the basics and the basics of the glow. So here's the ultimate challenge. Our skin, one of its main functions, like I said, is it's keeping stuff out. It does a lot. So how do we get the good things into our skin when our skin's job is to keep everything out. I mean, that's one of its main jobs. And that's really one of the ultimate challenges. So how do we do that? And this really is not a race for results. Um, setting proper expectations around skincare and results is so important. It's so important. Like who's seen something out there? Drop some likes and hearts and comments. If you have seen something out there where it's like, you know, these results overnight, results in two weeks, you know, you can get some great results quickly, but long-term results, really down at that cellular level, at the dermal level, and those deep levels, it does take time. So we invest in a journey, and it is a process, and that's why consistency is so important. So consistency, and I say like ruthless consistency is so important in your routine because it is a journey, and you can get set back if we don't really like put it in our non-negotiable bucket, like our skincare routine is something we're absolutely going to do all of the time. So drop a comment if you are committed to that consistency to get those results, because we want to get those results, right? We want to love our products. We want to get those results. Hi, Annabelle's on, Karen's on. Hooray. We love this. So we're going to talk about what should and should it be used together and all of that, because the order of... Our skincare does make a difference because we want to make sure that we can get the good things into the skin and maintaining its integrity. So our skin has this really awesome barrier on the outside and it helps our skin absorb, or absorb products. It helps retain moisture. One of its main jobs is to maintain that hydration, that water content to our skin. And so as we go through, we want to make sure that we are doing things that actually nourish our skin and don't damage 
that barrier. And one of the things that I've loved about these products, and I told you, I have been using these for two months. I've dug in, I've doing all the stuff, and I'm really, really impressed because maintaining the integrity of our skin's barrier is so important. And if we're using products that damage it long term, it's going to be not good for our skin. It's going to be dry. It's going to be red. It's going to be irritated. And we don't want that. I see. Make sure you guys are still sharing. Make sure you're commenting and all of that because we want to get to those 50 shares so they can announce winners in the comments. And then you all get to pick, if you win, three products of your choice. And I do want to do a little sidebar um, real quick before we start to get into the routine. Go Pure has these amazing sets um, that start at $99 for the eight piece originals, um, um, $129 for the 10 piece. You can get all of the products that you need as we go through for an amazing deal. And when you get three or more products, you save 15%, five or more, you save 20 and eight or more, you actually save 25%. So that's super cool. I wanted to get that out there so I didn't forget. And there is after pay, which is awesome. And the link, there's a link in the comments. So if you do want to shop and check anything out, read about ingredients, all of that, the link in the video here is what will get you to where you want to go. So, oh, yes, that's started at $99. And it's, I mean, it's eight pieces. That's amazing. That's all of this great stuff. And we're going to dig into all of those. So cleansing. Cleansing is the first step in our skincare routine. Drop some hearts if you wash your face every night. If you are so good about washing your face every single night, I want to see some hearts. I want to see some reactions. If you are like so committed to washing your face, because I'm going to drop a little, um, little bit of info for you that might help you with your consistency. Did you know that one bacteria turns into 16 million in 12 hours? Just one. Second fact, pollution actually amplifies the negative impact of UV radiation on your skin. So when we're out and about in the world, like our skin's doing its job and it's protecting us from all the stuff in the air and the dirt and the oil and the pollution and the bacteria. But at the end of the day, we really have to wash that off. And it makes, yeah, wow, is right. I mean, think about that when you're tired at the end of the day and you're like, I don't want to wash my face. Think about all of that stuff that is really hard on our skin. Remember, we got to take care of our skin so it can take care of us. That's, yeah, Trisha says gross. I agree. And um, when we, during the summer months and people tend to be outside more, think about that additional pollution and all of those other things, environmental allergens that are getting on our skin that we really do want to cleanse off. And I'm going to share a special tip is I love a double cleanse. A double cleanse are two cleanses. So you do an initial removal of makeup um, and it can remove dirt and oil and all of those additional things. So our second cleanse can get down a little more deeply. Now, I absolutely love using an oil for a cleanser. So I'm going to teach you something. Who here has used argan oil before they have washed their face with a vitamin C cleanser? This is an amazing um, tip because argan oil is super rich in vitamin A and vitamin E. It's antioxidant rich and super anti-inflammatory. So what you can actually do before you use um, a gel-based cleanser or a cream cleanser is you can put some pumps of this argan oil in your hands, massage it onto your face. So not wet, your face is dry to start. And you massage it onto your face. Jamie's washing her, um, she's going to be washing her face now. Um, you massage it in. Then you can towel that off or wipe that off and then go into your gel-based cleanse because you're going to get that off. And what that's going to help, um, it's going to help regulate your oil production. It's going to help, again, protect that skin barrier. We want to protect it. We, it's got to do its job. And then that is going to really help that additional cleanse get in more deeply while keeping that skin super protected as well. Now... Um, I love that this gel cleanser is sulfate free and I'm going to put a little bit on my hand and I'm going to show you. So it's this great gel consistency. It's not harsh. It's rich in vitamin C. I love, we're going to get into vitamin C. We're going to talk about it. Um, and during the day you can just, if you want to just do a quick cleanse, but at night I love doing that double cleanse, slather up with the argan oil, massage it in. You can towel, like just wipe it off a little bit and then go into your regular cleanse. And this also has 
rosehip seed oil. And I'm going to talk about rosehip too. Um, rosehip is such a superstar ingredient. And if you really want to boost up that oil cleanse, do a few pumps of this, a couple drops of this. Make your own super special oil cleanser every night. Trust me, you are going to love it. And if you do feel dry after you've cleansed, try this. And that is really going to make such a huge difference in helping your skin feel clean and nourished after you've washed your face without it feeling dry and tight because we don't want our skin feeling dry and tight after we have cleansed. Ooh, Kay is on. We love Kay. Yay. I'm so happy to see so many of you on. Again, make sure you're liking, sharing, commenting. We want winners. If I see a winner announced, I will try and mention it, but there's always so many comments that sometimes it's really, really hard for me to, to see when winners get announced. And so yes, cleansing is really important. It removes all of those impurities and really gets our skin ready to receive what we're going to be putting on top of it. Because remember, we want to get the good stuff into the skin. Um, and I really want you all to try that double cleanse. And what's cool about it is you get a little extra oil on your hands after that initial cleanse. Rub it in your hair, rub it on your hands, nails, all that. Um, you slather the oils everywhere. Like I am such a oil obsessed girl because glow, that is going to be a big part of maintaining and getting that glow because our skin's going to be healthy and nourished and happy and amazing. Oh, we have a winner. Is it Carmichael? Just won three products of their choice. That is amazing. Congratulations. Yay, 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 yay. Um, so yes, if you have products, we're going to be going through it. If you want to check it out, check out the link here. And we there are some amazing, amazing deals going on. So after we cleanse, we're going to talk about the exfoliation step. Now, I'm going to say this as an esthetician. Exfoliating can feel great when we do it. And we're like, oh my gosh, I got all this dead skin off because that's what exfoliation does. You can use a scrub or you can use alpha hydroxy acids and other things like glycolic acid to remove that dead skin. And it makes um, our skin feel great and we're glowing. We feel amazing. Who feels amazing after they've exfoliated or used a mask? But it's so easy to over exfoliate. An over exfoliated skin will be stripped. It's going to damage that barrier and that is going to cause all sorts of problems. So this is my esthetician tip. Really limit your exfoliating to two to three times a week tops because if we over exfoliate, it's going to cause more problems down the road. So I know it feels amazing and we feel glowy and awesome, but just really be careful when you're exfoliating because you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to cause problems because that's all that superficial skin. I bunked myself. That superficial skin is dead skin, right? We don't want that, but it actually has a job. So be very careful when you exfoliate. So we're going to talk about some really cool exfoliating products that I'm like, it's amazing. So first ones are scrubs. So scrubs is what's called a manual exfoliation. This microdermabrasion um, is an example of a um physical exfoliant, a mechanical exfoliant. It has these, it has bamboo and all sorts of amazing ingredients in there. But this also has alpha hydroxy, beta hydroxy acids and um, enzymes. So, and honey, oh my gosh, so nourishing. So here's what we're going to do with this. When we use a scrub, especially because this does have some other exfoliating ingredients, we want to massage it on. We want to use our, use your hands, put your hands, well, if you have clean hands, put your hands on your face. Don't touch your face if you have dirty hands. Mine are clean. But we can feel, like, be aware of the experience. Don't press too hard. You know, it's, it's not a contest to see how hard you can scrub your face. I'll tell you that because if you think it is, you're not going to win anything. You're not going to get what you want if you're pressing too hard. So just massage it on. Gently massage it on. Beth loves the microdermabrasion. I'd love to hear that. Massage it on. And I'm going to share a little tip. You can even let it sit on the skin. Let it sit on the skin. Let that alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids do their work. They're going to help break up the, the connections between the cells. That beta hydroxy acid is going to get in your pores and help clear out your pores. Over time, that's going to help the appearance of pores, help them appear smaller, all of that great stuff. And then we massage it off and then gently rinse. We don't want to be aggressive because abrasive is bad. We don't want abrasive. We just want to massage and again, just feel it. Um, and if you are using retinoids, 
just make sure you're being very, very gentle. So I'm going to talk about that too. So our next option is an enzyme mask. So this enzyme mask also has honey. It has papaya enzyme and pumpkin. Those are superstar um, exfoliators. Now let me tell you a story about this. Again, I'm an esthetician, yes, but I'm like a human person and I love doing my skincare and it makes me feel good. So when I dug into this for the first time, I was like, oh, okay. And it felt so good on the skin and I was having a rough day. I was having like a rough day. I'm not going. And I was like, I need spa day. Who needs a spa day when you've had a bad day? Like just, I need, I need it to make me feel better. <laughs> and I can be really sense. I have sensitive skin. Like that's a real thing. Having like sensitive skin is a real thing. And it was so gentle. So this is incredibly gentle. So if you're using retinoids, stuff from the dermatologist, this is a great place to start because it is very gentle with the enzymes. And the next morning I woke up and I kind of forgotten that I had done that. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, holy cow, I look good. Like my skin looks good. What did I do? And then I realized, I remembered I'd done that mask the night before. And I was like, okay, I'm in, I'm sold. That's all I need. I mean, like, whoa. And so I recommend 10 to 20 minutes top. So there's been a lot of questions in the group about leaving this on. Here's what I will say. First of all, if you leave this on, the richness of it can create an additional barrier to the hydrating products that we really, really want to get into our skin. But again, remember when I talked about protecting our skin barrier, if you are using exfoliants, whether they're enzymatic or um, alpha hydroxy acids or whatever, if you do leave them on the skin too long, they're going to kind of do too good of a job. And then it can over time, it can just be irritating and it can be too much because we want to exfoliate the right amount. We don't want to over exfoliate and we absolutely don't want to damage our skin barrier. So my recommendation is 10 to 20 minutes and just do it two to three times a week because more is not always more when it comes to skincare. Now the best time to exfoliate, I'm a PM exfoliating kind of person a lot of times and I'll talk about that a little bit in the treatment step. Um, you always have to use SPF when you exfoliate. And if you are exfoliating in the morning and using products with alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid, you have to promise me that you are going to be wearing your sunscreen because sunscreen is so important. So drop a heart if you are committed to sunscreen usage. If, and so just do what works for you in your life. That's a huge part of skincare and these routines and how I want you all to feel empowered making these choices because like it's got to work for your life. And if you're using retinol every single night, yeah, you have to exfoliate in the morning because we're not going to exfoliate at night and then put on retinoids. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more, but remember that like what works for you, just wear your sunscreen, don't overdo it. Um, and then you also have the option of these really amazing sheet masks. So sheet masks are like, like glow secret. So glow secret, make sure you're still sharing Make sure you're still sharing because we want more winners. Remember, we keep got to keep getting more shares to get those winners. So someone drop me a share update and see how many we have because I want more winners. But she, this has glycolic acid, um, hyaluronic acid, and turmeric. And it's going to exfoliate. It's going to hydrate with that hyaluronic acid, that turmeric. Turmeric is like a superstar ingredient for skin. Everyone wants to add it now, but we all know that it's been in here this whole time. Um, and that is a really great way. If you want like an instant boost, if you have an event, if you want your makeup to look amazing, pop on a sheet mask, let it set for 10 to 20 minutes. And then that loveliness on there is going to nourish the skin so we can just wipe it off and then do our routine. So we want to just two to three times a week to start. Next step in the routine is our toner. Now, I'm not always like obsessed with toners because there are way too many bad toners out there. There are so many that are like packed with alcohol and all these drying ingredients and it's so harsh on the skin. And so with this toner, I gotta tell you again, this is, I'm yeah, I'm an esthetician, but I'm like a real person and I'm a critic. It's my job as a beauty editor to be a critic. You know, and I'm not going to tell you guys to get stuff. I don't think it's cool. If I don't think it's going to work. I mean, hello. Um, it's my job to make you all feel amazing and confident. If I'm not truthful, that can't happen. So when I tried this toner, and this is really interesting. Now, toners, you probably think like really runny, liquidy, all this stuff. Their job is to balance the skin, um, to restore the pH, all of that stuff. Well, look at this. 
See how thick and rich this toner is? Now, this toner is um, water and aloe and rose hip. And here's what's amazing. See how it's staying on my hand like that and slowly running down? This is super, super nourishing on the skin, but it doesn't leave a weird film. I was like, wait, is this too good to be true? <laughs> it's alcohol free and it has those nourishing ingredients. So it really kickstarts your routine. Now, remember when I said that pollution amplifies the negative effects of UV? I said that. The aloe is actually naturally anti-pollution and Beth just won. So we have another winner. So keep sharing because Beth gets to pick three products and I want you all to be able to pick. So keep sharing and liking and commenting. This is so fun. It's like a skincare game show, but this is alcohol free. And remember, it doesn't have parabens and all those other bad things that we hate. Those are gross. But aloe is naturally anti-pollution. And if you've ever, and some, there's some people on here that have heard me educate before you know, aloe like is like, it's one of my absolute favorite ingredients. It is a humectant. So it pulls moisture into the skin, but it is very anti-inflammatory. Like what do you put on your skin when you get a sunburn? Aloe, hello, because, and it just heals. So it's anti-inflammatory, it's cooling, it's all of these things, but it's naturally anti-pollution. So especially during the day, I really, really love that this has aloe in there and it's balancing and the rosehip seed oil because it is going to additionally help protect your skin so it can do its job better. So that's a fun fact. That's why I like, I'm aloe obsessed. And when I started digging into the ingredients in these products, because that's one of the first things I do, aloe is everywhere. And I was like, okay, we're off to a great start. We're off to a great start because aloe is an amazing glow secret. It helps keep that water content in and that hydration and really, really helps keep the bad stuff out. And we love ingredients that do this. Yes. So Jamie, you need the toner. Check out the link. I would love for you all to use the link here. Um, that's how they know I'm doing a good job. I want to do a good job because I want to be invited back um, and check out the amazing deals. Remember, the more items you get, the bigger discount you get. And the sets really are incredible. So drop a heart if you tone already and let me know if you do or you don't. And I just I use these on a cotton round. I love cotton rounds and just gentle. And what this can also do is just help additionally remove um, anything that you don't want, like living on the skin anymore. It'll just kind of help keep the skin clean and remove any additional bad stuff. So now we're going to go into the treatment step. So drop hearts if you have the sets of the serum. So we have, and I've had so many questions about this, the originals, oh, they're backwards, um, and the actives. So once we have cleansed and exfoliated and toned our skin, this is the treatment step. This is before we moisturize and all that. We want to get like, what's your additional skin goal? What are your skin goals? Maybe drop in the comments what some of your skin goals are. Do you want to glow? Do you want to fight fine lines? Are you trying to treat hyperpigmentation? And drop like what skin concerns you have and what those skin goals are because the treatment step is really crucial in helping you meet your skin goals because that's what we want, right? And that's how we can feel confident when we, when we feel amazing in our skin, when we're starting to meet those skin goals when our skin is hydrated, healed, and nourished by super clean clinical products like GoPure. So um, we love during the day and night to do different things because it gives us the opportunity to tackle different things, but we have different needs during the day and night, right? During the day, we're outside, we're being exposed to UV, and they're actually finding now that People sitting on their computers and their phones and all of this stuff, that, that still exposes us to light that damages our skin. And I'm seeing all sorts of you all sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. I know it can be vulnerable to share what your skin concerns are. And um, when we know what your skin concerns are, we know how to offer solutions. So that's super great. So during the day, like we have these different concerns. Then at night and when we sleep, this is another fun fact, our skin and our body is healing when we sleep. And our skin can actually like heal and restore and repair um, and metabolize ingredients exponentially more at night than during the day. So that's why we do different things. And that's why your PM routine is so important because 
it can utilize those ingredients better as it's going through this processes. And that's why the day is so important because UV is what hurts our skin the most. UV exposure hurts our skin more than anything. It's causing those fine lines and wrinkles. It totally creates processes in our skin that like make our skin kill its own collagen. It's horrible. Um, create that, that hyperpigmentation. I mean, like I'm fresh faced, like I'm, I'm a human. I have hyperpigmentation. I have fine lines. I have all of those things. And it's so important for us to take the AM and the PM routine seriously. So during the day, I'm all about antioxidants and vitamin C and E are amazing for our skin during the day. So after you've toned that step, we want to start hitting it with the antioxidants. Now, damp skin will receive products the best during the day. The only exception to that is retinol. We want to put retinol on dry skin. That is a rule. I will tell you that rule. We put retinol on dry skin because we don't want to cause irritation. But damp skin makes a huge difference in helping our skin receive ingredients. Um, and so we start with our vitamin C. Now, there have been a lot of questions to the difference between the two lines, the originals and the actives. This is the way I approach it as an esthetician, is that are you already using active ingredients? And I consider active ingredients vitamin C, alpha hydroxy acids, retinoids, those types of things. So drop in the comments if you already use products with those ingredients. So if you do and your, your skin is used to that, if you are already using those types of ingredients, go with the actives. Like you're there, girl. You're there. Well, guys too, because guys really need the help. But we really do want to ease into this process. Remember, this isn't a race. We don't want to overdo it. Great products that work will make our skin wake up and be like, hey, what's going on? What's happening here? And we don't want red, dry, irritated skin because when we are stimulating processes in our skin, your skin's going to notice, right? And so it can feel dry and irritated and all of those things, even from good stuff, you know? So we want to ease into it. We start a few things at a time. So if you... You know, 30 and younger for sure, or if you have not used clinical ingredients, go for the originals. They, it's phenomenal. Now, and there are the three serums we're going to go through. If you have already used those ingredients, if you're 30, 35, 40 plus, let's, let's go into those actives because they are more sophisticated advanced formulations. That's why they cost a little more because, um, active ingredients, you have to treat um, they have to be packaged properly. See these opaque glass bottles, these amber bottles. You have to make sure they're protected from sunlight and air and all of that stuff so they can work. Now, vitamin C is a super powerful antioxidant. It makes our skin produce collagen. And here's another tip from Stephanie Classy. One of the things that's really, really amazing about vitamin C is that, remember when I said UV um, creates all these processes in our skin that damage collagen and create hyperpigmentation? When we use antioxidant-rich products like vitamin C, um, and I will say this, I could go off for an hour about one of these products and I could teach super in-depth on all the ingredients in that, but we're going basics here. But when we use antioxidant-rich products, and especially vitamin C during the day, it does such a good job of fighting off that you the, the process, that, that oxidation process, that happens that causes so much damage that our skin can actually repair and heal. And so when you are using vitamin C products and you're like, oh my goodness, like my glow is like makes you glow and it fights hyperpigmentation and your skin's getting firm. It does that because your skin's actually able to heal itself because those antioxidants are preventing those negative processes from oxidative stress and your skin can heal itself. Like, how cool is that? Drop some hearts, share this video one more time if you think that's really cool. It's like the troops holding off all the bad stuff that happens from UV exposure. So you use four to six drops, press it into the skin, and I saw a question about how long you wait. Um, you know, you can wait five minutes, you can wait 30 seconds, you can feel when it's absorbed, but we, it is important to let your, your products absorb a little bit. So these have vitamin C and ferulic acid, and ferulic acid is like the ultimate buddy to vitamin C. And I loved that these products are vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid. That's what I look for. 
And one thing about the actives that's really cool. So this is a special form in both of these and all the vitamin C products. The vitamin C is very, very stable. And that's really, really important. So skincare 101 basic, not all vitamin C is created the same. There are a lot of vitamin C products out there that by the time you get them, they've already oxidized. They've already done that job of fighting off those, those random oxygen atoms um, that it doesn't work when you use it. So it has to be stable or it can't do its job. And so... These are super stable. Like baseline, you got to use stable vitamin C. These are that. And this actually has Kaduku Plum. And if Kellyanne's on here, she's heard me talk about this. Kaduku Plum has a 100 times the amount of vitamin C that an orange has. And it is the most um, vitamin C rich natural source out there. So this actually has a dual source of vitamin C. It has that um, super stable vitamin C as well as the Kaduku Plum. Mm. It's, I mean, look, look at this. Let's just all look at it together. Like, look at this amazingness. And it doesn't leave like a weird film on the skin because serums out in the world, um, can leave a, um, weird film on the skin. You can know if a product's oxidized if the color has changed. Um, but sometimes depending on the product, you just don't know. So that's why it's really important to use stable forms of vitamin C. Um, and encapsulated vitamin C. So the Hydrate and Smooth Serum and this Hyaluronic Acid Serum, that's the next step. So vitamin C first, antioxidants on, let them absorb. Day, we're talking daytime here. Then we're going to go with our Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic Acid holds a thousand times its weight in water. That's amazing. It's going to make the skin plump and it fights inflammation. When your skin is dehydrated, it gets red and inflamed and irritated. We don't like dehydrated skin. Dehydrated skin causes all sorts of issues and hyaluronic acid is actually naturally found in our skin. These actually use multiple weights of that hyaluronic acid so it can absorb at different levels and plump and hydrate the skin and help pro and it actually makes your other ingredients absorb better. We want that. Remember, we want that. So this actually, sidebar, I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, this actually has encapsulated vitamin C too. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? More vitamin C? Who doesn't want that? I want that. Encapsulated vitamin C is very, very cool because it penetrates more deeply without causing irritation. Now, you have not used vitamin C before. You're Again, remember when we're using stuff that works, our skin notices. Sometimes we don't like how it notices. We're like, hey, chill out. Um, but just know um, that it can take a little bit of time for your skin to figure out what's going on. Um, you can use hyaluronic acid products day and night. I love this one during the day because it does, it also does have that encapsulated vitamin C in there. Um, and I love vitamin C for the day. It has vitamin E. Um, it's very, very soothing. And nighttime, remember, we're going to be doing something different. So at night, we're going to be playing in retinoids or alpha hydroxy acids. Remember, we don't do them. I, I don't recommend the same night. Every skincare professional makes recommendations based on the information that's out there and how they personally like to make recommendations. And for me, I'm a very, very conservative. I take a very conservative approach to skin and skincare because I want your skin to be super happy. And I want you all to love your products because if we go too hard and it's too much, we want to take a break. And we're like, oh, no, this was too much. And remember, consistency is everything, right? Um, and so I want us to ease into it. So I want to state that, that the way I make recommendations is more conservative. But that's why I'm super confident in the recommendations that I make. And I want you all to be glow bosses, right? Because when our skin is, is irritated, if it's too much, if it's over exfoliated, it, we don't, we don't glow the same. We don't glow the same. I want you all to have that classy go pure glow. Who wants that? So retinol, we have a little retinol lesson. I love teaching about retinol, you guys. It's so much fun. Um, who's having fun? Oh my gosh. I only have 20 minutes left. I'm gonna get through it, you all. I could just talk all day. I could talk all day about skin and skincare and everything. But we're gonna talk about the difference. Now, there is a difference between um, these two products as well. The original has a 2.5 retinol solution. Now, this is real retinol, you all. These are not retinoid derivatives. There's a lot of retinoid products out there. Retinol is trending on all sorts of channels. Like, it's very trendy right now. But you have to use retinol responsibly. Drop some hearts if you're going to just promise we're going to make responsible retinal choices. 
<laughs> Pinky promised me we're going to be responsible and then I'll teach you and share it one more time. We're going to share, we're going to like, we're going to heart and then drop it. I promise Stephanie that I'm going to be responsible with my retinol. Um, and know that it is a process because retinol is the most researched skincare ingredient there is. And it's actually, oh, did Jeannie win? Do we have another winner? I hope so. Cause I didn't see that, but I'm hoping. Um, and let's keep sharing. We want more winners. We want tons of winners. But retinol is like the true, like anti-aging skincare ingredient out there because it actually makes your skin produce more cells. As we age, our cellular regeneration slows. And at our most youthfulness, it's 28 weeks. Every 28 weeks, we're going through all the, from creation to hitting the outer layer of our skin, our stratum corneum and being gonzo at our youngest, most youthful. But as we age, that process slows. And think like 10 days every 10 years, once we've hit like 25-ish. Um, and our collagen in our 20s starts, um, we just produce less collagen. And then when we hit menopause, we produce even less collagen. And we're like, what is happening? This is rude. And so retinol literally makes our skin produce cells more rapidly. And that is why it fights fine lines. It fights hyperpigmentation. It fights deeper wrinkles. It like does stuff like it's the business. It really is. But it can cause dryness, redness, irritation, and there is an adjustment to it. It's a process and you got to commit to it. But we're going to start slow and low. We start one day a week. Oh, next week we're going to go two days a week. Oh, next week we're going to go three days a week. Like don't, we're not going, we're not jumping into the deep end of the pool with retinol. And if you do that, your skin's going to be like, what is happening? <laughs> um, and I'm going to talk about some of the other moisturizers, but we're going through kind of the beginning to end of a skincare routine. So Firm and Lift is in the actives. This has a Grenactive retinol, which is a phenomenal form of retinol, and it has Bacuchiol. Bacuchiol is a natural, natural ingredient as well, and our cells have receptors that make them produce collagen as they're regenerating. So the difference between these two is this has a 2.5% retinol, real retinol. This has a Grenactive retinol and Bacuchiol. So Grenactive basically has, it's a special compound that like talks to your cell in a special way. And it's like, hey, like regenerate and produce collagen. And Bacuchiol does that too in a different way. So like, yeah, so good. But, and this is how, look at the color. More retinol rich products typically have that yellow color. And this is very rich. Pea sized amount, outer perimeter of the face. Remember, more is not more. Less is more. Outer perimeter of the face, press it in, avoid the eye area. This glasses area, we're not putting our vitamin C's, we're not putting our retinol, we're not putting our glycolic acid. We're keeping it out here. This one has that amazing, um, like vitamin E and green tea and antioxidant rich and all that amazing 2.5% retinol. But again, that's the difference between the originals and the actives. I know, are you all taking notes? Um, if you are using tretinoin cream, you do not use ret a di another retinol. So you got to choose your retinol and choose your frequency. Now I'm going to teach you what's another glow tip from Stephanie Classy. I do. Oh wait, it's my tip. Um, there is a method called the sandwich method. So again, remember we put retinol on at nighttime, promise to use your SPF during the day on dry skin. Now, the sandwich method is really cool because if you find that your skin is like having a little bit too much of an adjustment period, if it feels like tight and dry, but that's like normal when you start. Trust me, that is normal, but we want to mitigate that and we want you all to feel amazing. Um, well, we sandwich it. So we put an oil or a moisturizer underneath that does not have retinol. We let that absorb. Then we put on our retinol. Then we put another moisturizing product on top and we sandwich the retinol between moisturizers and it can help just mitigate that irritation and help us get adjusted to it. And then you work to the point where 
Um, you can use retinol. There are some people that use it five to seven nights a week. Um, but literally, um, it takes a minute to get there. So trust me, it's okay. Like it takes a minute. We're in this together. We're all like in this, like drop hearts if we're all in this together and share one more time. And let's get more winners because I love when you all win. And remember, we have this link below so you can check out all of the stuff. And there's even afterpay if you want to get stuff and it breaks it up into four payments and it's really great. But this is like, this is real retinol. This is literally like, these are real. They work. <laughs> Do its job and your, your skin's going to notice. Um, and we want to make sure that we're doing it appropriately. Um, so let me, I'm checking my notes. Oh, this is, this is really cool. So I did want to share this. So with this active serum, listen to these stats. A hundred percent of, um, who, it says GoPure is constantly doing clinical studies. Constantly. That's also very important. Very, very important. If you feel like, again, like we want to avoid lip area around the nose and eye area. So I want to add these two. So if you're getting too close to these areas, like just back off, like perimeters, we want to give a little space to those because again, mucous membrane, very sensitive. Keep sharing. 100% of people in this clinic, in these clinical trials said their skin elasticity approved. Drop hearts if you think that's amazing. Um, 96.9 said their skin firmness improved. That's amazing. It stimulates collagen, stimulates um, collagen. That's what it does. Stimulates collagen and elastin. 96.6 also, I thought it was 96.9, said it improved their skin texture. That's why retinol is amazing. It will help with pore size. It will help with texture. It will help with hyperpigmentation. It will firm. It will lift. It will help with fine lines and wrinkles. Like, it's no joke, and it is very well researched. But that's why we want to use it. And, yes, I just see a comment. Up. Another. This is another important tip. Estheticians consider the face, your decollete, your neck, and your face. So don't stop at the perimeter. And this is the worst thing I did, you all. I'm going to share a little bit. All, most of my skin damage is perimeter damage and damage through here. Because I was putting everything right here and stopping. Now, who thinks that is what made me a silly goose for doing that? We don't want that. We want... Get it all up. Get it where you want neck, decollete, all of the things. Because a question I get so much as an esthetician is about repairing damage on the neck and decollete, especially, and then hyperpigmentation on the perimeter of the face. And these products will absolutely help with that. We have Tammy share, share, sharing. We love that. Peggy and Jamie are dropping hearts. I appreciate your all support. Um, it's always intimidating stepping into a new community. Um, and I'm always myself and I love sharing and thank you all for being so welcoming. I love this. It's making me so happy. Drop some hearts if you're having fun. I'm having fun. So I also want you all to avoid using retinoids when you exfoliate. Very few people can use, um, retinoids and off hydroxy acids at the same time. It can just be a lot. Um, so just be aware that I typically don't recommend using them at the same time. And if you're going to exfoliate in the morning, use this at night, but I don't recommend like directly exfoliating and then retinoids because again, I'm conservative, but I want you with, you know, with these products and I just, I want you all to have a very amazing experience and meet your skin goals. So NSPF is must. Ease into it. It's not a raise. So we're going to be talking about next step. Now that we've treated the skin, we are going to moisture. Moisturizing. Oh my gosh, look at these moisturizers. Glycopeptide. Drop some hearts if you've used the glycopeptide anti-wrinkle moisturizer. Drop some hearts if you've used this vitamin C moisturizer. And drop hearts. There is a retinol moisturizer as well. So again, difference between AM and PM. Difference between morning and night morning we want the antioxidants we want the vitamin c we want all of that amazingness okay so obviously the vitamin c is going to be your go-to um it's got shea jojoba tons of antioxidants obviously the very stable vitamin c we talked about and green tea green tea is an amazing antioxidant as well and again it really helps protect from that oxidative stress these, okay, this packaging is so amazing and I was so excited when I saw that these were in this packaging because this is an airless pump. Just remember I was saying these products need to be protected from light and air or they oxidize. But look, what it does is it pumps up and then you get your product and 
it protects everything inside. And when it's gone, it's like gone. So we are going to, I'm going to warm this on my hands. So we're going to, I, I feel the need to glow a little more. Let's glow together. The airless pump is huge. I press it into, oh my gosh, that feels so good. <laughs> so cooling on the skin. We press it on. And this is my technique when I'm applying serums too. I like a pressing technique to start. Press on, press on. Work down the neck, decollete, all that. And then we can work it in. But I press on. We don't need to be rubbing around and being crazy. We're going to, oh, I see someone saying something about rose hip. We're going to talk about that. Because rose hip is just like my bestie. And I'm, I love rose hip. And remember, I turned 40 in like a few months. So I really do this. Because I think I'm doing pretty good for my age. And I want you all to feel amazing and have that glow. And just feel so confident. We're going to press that in. Do you see? Do you see that glow? Now I'm going to teach you guys a trick. You can double layer your moisturizer if you want. Put a little bit on. Let it absorb. You can put on more. You can put on more during the day. Like it doesn't have to be one and done. So um, eye area, I am very conservative with the eye area. I just don't want irritation. I don't want issues. That's why I love specifically using um, eye products around the eye area just because I, I don't want any additional irritation because the skin around our eyes is so thin. It is exponentially less dense than the rest of our face. It just can't tolerate as much. And remember our skin's a sponge. So if we put something somewhere, it's still gonna be absorbing in a bigger area, you know? So think about that. If we're putting stuff like right up here, like where's that absorbing to, you know? So we wanna be conservative. We wanna be, have it be, and it, like you guys are asking great questions. I love it so much. Thank you so much for participating and commenting and liking and sharing. This is great. So now PM, um, I know that in the go pure, um, the way they recommend products is you can use the glycopeptide moisturizer day and night. I will say if you do use this during the day, cause it does have glycolic acid, promise you, me, you will wear SPF and choose, 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 because these are active. All three of these are active, right? They have vitamin C is active. Retinol is active. Glycolic acid is active. And so when you put too many actives together, it can just be too much for our skin, which is why it's such a great opportunity to have our daytime routine and our nighttime routine. Um, the glycopeptide is phenomenal because it has that glycolic acid that helps our skin exfoliate. But this is very gentle in my opinion, but you do notice it. Um, but peptides. So who wants to learn about peptides? <sighs> peptides are amazing. I love peptide pack products. Peptides are a superstar ingredient and our cells actually have receptors. It's like a lock and key. So peptides, when they absorb and if they can get down to those levels, what they do is they actually do tell our skin to produce collagen. So we do want those peptides. They are very important and that's why they're a phenomenal um firming and lifting ingredient. And then with that glycolic acid, it's going to help that penetrate very nicely and get to those spots. But again, it is active. So I do love this. Do use this. It's amazing. Now, PM again, if you maybe want to tiptoe even more into the retinol world, a retinol cream is like easy peasy. It's got your emollient, your um, ingredient. Um, it has vitamin B, which another bestie of mine. And it's going to have all of that stuff. So it's just going to be easier on the skin. Now, I've seen this question. Can I use retinol serum with retinol cream? Two, th two ways I'll approach it. If you're just starting, let's start with just the retinol cream. If you feel like your skin can really tolerate retinol and you're ready to um, elevate the experience together, I mean, you can. You really, I think, would have to be on a advanced retinol train to double up these. It's okay to pick and choose. When you have all these products, and this happens to me, I have all the things that I'm like, I wanna use it all. I want it all. I want all the benefits. But again, more is not more. Less is more. Pay attention to your skin. Acknowledge how it's feeling. And with retinol, like let's tiptoe in. Um, and if it works for you, that is amazing. But everybody has different skin. Remember, everyone has a different skin type. Everyone has different skin concerns. Everyone lives in a different environment. Our environment really dictates it. So that is, um, that makes a big, big difference. So 
they're hydrating and niacinamide B vitamins are in a lot of these products too. B vitamins help smooth and firm. They help with pore size. They're like a sidekick to your ingredients. I love, love B vitamins. So let's talk about the oils again. We finish with oils. So when we apply, who's heard the thinnest to thickest? Let's share one more time. Let's keep going. I got to wrap it up here soon, but I will be back. I promise. Um, but thinnest to thickest. But I take the approach of water-based ingredients to oil-based ingredients. So start with the waters, the humectants, the hyaluronic acid, the aloes, we work to the creams and the oils. So when we have done all the things, and especially at night glow tip, take your rose hip and a little argan and press them together and press them on the skin. If you have oilier skin, you can definitely just do rose hip. These are antioxidant packed. They have natural sources of vitamin A, super vitamin E rich, omega-3, omega-6s. These are your barrier repairing superstars. If you are using retinoids and um, glycolic acids, use these. Use these, use these, use these. Um, rose hip is so great and you can mix them into your moisturizers if you want. If you want to mix it into the moisturizing step, do that. But my glow secret is I let my moisturizer absorb. Watch this. I'm going to take the rose hip, just a couple drops. We'll do it. It is so packed and it seals in the goodness. Press it in and you are going to glow. Oils make a difference. You can put it in your hair. Then I'm going to go to the eyes. Sorry, I'm running out of time, but we're finishing. So now we finish. This Eye Bright Serum has blown me away. Drop hearts if you have the serum because holy wow, the serum is so good around the eyes. And I love that it's a serum. Again, it's peptide packed. Remember, we just talked about why we love peptides. Bites fine lines, firms. It does not bite my concealer and makeup. I love concealer. I need concealer. I need it. I'm, I mean, I'm just, that's how I am. And I have noticed a major difference and it has plant stem cells. Let me tell you what, that there are brands that sell plant stem cell products for absurd amounts. This is so affordable. It's so effective and it has caffeine and cucumbers. It fights dark circles because caffeine helps restrict the blood vessels and it will really help with puffiness and darkness under the eyes. Press it on, press it on, get above here, like press it on. If you don't have this, you need this. Now second. One more minute. Um, you can put, I mean, you could put it on your eyelids. Just be careful. Little bits. What I do, and then I take what's left. This is another trick. Whatever's left on my hands, I press it on my lips. So remember, we have lines here too. This pen, this spot corrector pen, and I got to go in a second. This has totally made some, my dark spots lighten. And clinical studies on this intensive spot corrector pen and the natural botanicals in here, it works as effectively as hydroquinone. That's crazy. Hydroquinone is a very potent dark spot ingredient, but it's very not good for us. Um, and uh, this has blown me away. So these, and so after you do your routine, I do my eyes and then I do additional treatments. Um, and SPF, 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 SPF. So thank you so much for coming. I hope I'll be back. Congratulations to all the winners. I hope you all learned something. Shop deals on the link and check out the sets for the eight piece set that starts at 99. We have amazing sets that start at 99. 10 piece for 129. There is after pay. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Please follow my page, Stephanie Classy Makeup Artistry. Um, I would love for you all to join me there. I teach all sorts of great stuff, and I hope I'll be back here, too. Have an amazing day, and I finish all my videos like this because my name is Classy. So, as always, keep it classy, and I will be back. Thank you so much for your love and support. I Get that glow on. I'll go back through and try and answer more questions, but definitely follow my page, be in the group, and check out the link, and congratulations to the winners. Bye.